fertility, right? It's not gonna it's not gonna make you create better sperm, right? For example, for men, but it will help you create more big nuts. You understand? Bigger loads. Okay, that. What is up, YouTube? Today we are talking about kiss peptin. This is a very popular peptide. I went to a little uh, thing this weekend and a lot of the libido boosting, hormone boosting peptides were like, everyone wanted to know about them. And I know I only talk about a certain section of peptides usually, and those are the ones that enhance workouts and like weight loss and stuff like that. But I do wanna branch out into different peptides, just giving out a little information. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Kiss peptin. But before we talk about kids peptin, I wrote down a little something, something for like frequently asked questions anytime I make videos like this. And number one, what is a peptide? What is a peptide? So I'm gonna be reading off of this. I got my little notes here. So y'all just, just lock in with me. This is an informational video. This is not for entertainment. This is to learn, all right? What is a peptide? A peptide is simply a short chain of amino acids, the same building blocks that make up proteins. The easiest way to understand um, is to think as think of amino acids as beads. A peptide is a short necklace made up of a few beads, usually t two to 50. A protein is a complex necklace made from peptides linked together. So a peptide is just a small piece of a protein necklace. You understand? Um, peptides act like messengers. They, they tell cells what to do. Uh, many peptides occur naturally in the body and control things such as hormones, healing and repair, metabolism, appetite, inflammation, sleep, stre stress response, and muscle growth. Uh, why are peptides important in health and in medicine? It's because like synthetic lab-grown peptides can mimic the body's natural ones to help build muscle, burn fat, improve healing, boost hormone production, enhance skin quality, and improve energy and metabolism etc etc essentially they they kick off all of the processes they wake the body up and say hey do this thing and this is the signal that you need for that thing so when we talk about kids peptin we're talking about like hormone production for men and women okay so i i, I wrote some quick good notes to get into it then we're going to get into the dosage and protocol um kids peptin controls one of the most powerful systems in the body it's a little chain of amino acids that kicks off the entire reproductive cascade. Uh, it's the one that's responsible for puberty, fertility, and, li and libido, and whether your hormones act like adults or teenagers, essentially, okay? You want, your you want your teenage hormones to be all out of whack going back and forth, or do you want them to be grown, adult, fully stretched out hormones functioning smoothly? That's what Kispeptin does. Uh, Kispeptin signals your brain to release gonadotropin releasing hormones, which tells the pituitary gland to send out luteinizing hormones and follicle and follic follicle stimulating hormone hormones. Uh, <laughs> that the way I wrote that was crazy, and basically the the one that switches on the testes and ovaries to start working um, libido, mood, and sensitivity to sexual cues all perk up at once, okay? And, and, it, and it happens quickly, which is why, some, now we're gonna talk about dosing, which is why some people dose right before bed or right before sexy time. You understand what I'm saying to you? This is something that people run uh, between 10 and 12 weeks with like a four to eight week break and then they run it for another uh, 10 to 12 weeks because, you know, the people, a lot of people like it for the, um, fertility right it's not gonna it's not gonna make you create better sperm right for example for men but it will help you create more big nuts you understand bigger loads okay that's <laughs> that's all that's what we're talking about so more sperm not not higher quality sperm not all this and that 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 comes down to you your genetics how healthy you are and all that but if you want more um you will get more with kispeptin in your system. Um, and that's pretty much it for that. Now let's go ahead and get into the dosing. The dosing is anywhere between 100 to 200 micrograms per day. I would tell you to take it before bed every day um, for 10 weeks on. And you can do five days on, two days off. A lot of people like to run peptides for that. 
um, just for reasons that people swear behind. But essentially, I say it stretches it out and you get your you get more bang for your buck. Um, so this is Kispeptin 10, uh, 10 milligrams in here. Um, so if you're dosing it at 200 micrograms a day, you're going to reconstitute it with two milliliters of bacterial static water like I'm about to show you. Okay, so this is going to be quick and precise. If you don't know how we get down over here with the reconstitutions, it's very quick, it's very precise, very accurate. First things first, clean hands. Put some hand sanitizer on your hands. Everything we do when reconstituting these peptides will be clean. A little extra alcohol never hurt. So then we're gonna take a clean Q-tip, boom. Wet that Q-tip up on the top of your bacterial static water. Boom, clean that off. They say they come sterilized. Trust but verify. Make sure it's clean. Hit that with some alcohol. Dry that off, dry that off. We're in there like swimwear, okay? Now, fresh new box of needles. This is real simple, real easy. We're going to reconstitute this with two milliliters of bacterial static water. Y'all know the drill. Unsheath your sword. <laughs> okay, pull out 100 units of air into the top of that bacterial static water. You see that little circle? Okay, you're gonna put it directly into that circle and push 100 units of air into there. Turn it over, boom. We're going to pull out 100 units of bacterial static water. Simple and easy. Okay, now you do not just shove this into your Kiss Peptin. You wanna lean this to the side, all right? Uh, let me zoom in, give y'all a good look. All right. You see that little circle? I'm gonna lean this to the side, on its side. Put that directly into the circle and you're gonna, you see how that's going in there by itself? Keep it tilted to the side. Never shoot your bacterial static water directly into the peptide powder. Just let it go in there. It's pressurized, so it will pull by itself. And if it doesn't pull by itself, just slowly push it in yourself and let it drip down. But most of the time it should pull. And we're gonna do the same exact thing over again. Boom, boom. We're gonna push the air in. Give a hundred, take a hundred. I'm thinking about coming out with a really simple ebook to help with people with this and just have a slew of peptides in there. You wanna do the same thing, lean to the side, put it in there. And as you can see, it is going in itself slowly. There's nothing on the end of there, it's just going in itself. While that peptide is leaned <clears throat> to the side, okay? And it's just about all in, boom. And reconstitution complete. So and you never shake your peptide because as you can see at the bottom, it's still trying to, you know, dissolve. If you want it to hurry up and dissolve, you would do this. What I like to do is just give it time, okay? Just give it time. Um, after you reconstitute this, give it at least two hours in the fridge, come back, check it, see if it's fully dissolved. If it is, it's ready. Personally, I like to leave it overnight. Anytime I reconstitute, I like to leave it overnight, okay? And that is it. Now, when you dose it for the 200 micrograms, you're going to, <sighs> I'll waste the dose just to show you. No, I won't, no, I won't, because it's not all the way done. I won't do that. But you're going to pull to the five mark. That's five days on, two days off. That's what I would recommend. You pull to the five mark and that's gonna give you 200 micrograms. Okay, if you want 100, pull to 2.5, right? But that is a very, very, very small amount. And I think you get, you get like 50 doses in a 10 
milligram vial. So you would pull to half between the zero and the 10, right? You pull to about there, very small dose, but you know, this is one that lasts for a long time, lasts for a very long time, boom. Very small dose, lasts 50 doses in a 10 milligram vial, and uh, you'll be good. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all for being here. We'll do more peptide breakdowns. And all you gotta do is remember three things and you're gonna be okay. That's if you train good, eat good, and sleep good, then that's a good ass life. Bye!